Welcome to chapel. It's our last chapel for the school year. We congratulate our eighth graders as they graduate. We congratulate our kindergartners as they move on to first grade and graduate from kindergarten. And we give thanks to all of our students for a, a wonderful year, a very unexpected year, but a wonderful year nonetheless. We are so privileged to have such a wonderful student body. And we pray that you, your summer is filled with blessings and um, know that you are in our prayers and our thoughts. Um, we're gonna close our school year with the song, The Way, which has been our theme, theme song for the school year. And we remember as we sing this song that no matter what things happen in life, that Jesus is our way and that um, we know ultimately our home is in heaven and we look forward to being with Jesus there. We sing. today we're going to read from the Gospel of John, John chapter 14, and I'll read verses 15 through 21. This is Jesus speaking, and Jesus says, If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper to be with you forever, even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive. 
because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world will see me no more. But you will see me. Because I live, you also will live. In that day, you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and keeps them, he it is who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. That is just a great Bible reading, especially for this school year. As we close out the year and things just haven't quite ended the way that we imagined they would end, did they? This has been quite a strange year with the whole happening with, with COVID-19 and all of the shelter at home and the uh, the stores closed and the schools closed. Everything has just been completely different, hasn't it? Many of your parents have become your teachers, your parents and your grandparents, of course. They've become your teachers as you finished out the school year and you did some of that online with, with, your, with your classroom teachers, but you did it from a distance. You did that with uh, home learning. And so it's just been kind of a strange year, hasn't it? Yeah, but Jesus comes to us today in this gospel reading from John chapter 14. And he's talking to his disciples. He's there in the upper room with his disciples the night that he was betrayed, the night before he would go to the cross on Good Friday and die for your sins and for my sins. And then three days later, he would rise again on Easter morning. But Jesus was there with his disciples, and, and he was letting them know that they were going to be separated. They were going to be apart from each other, not just for the three days that he was in the grave, but even after that, when he would ascend back into heaven, and that time that we actually still live in now as Jesus remains in heaven, and, and he's with us. He's with us in spirit, but he's, he's not with us in the same way that he was with his disciples when he walked with them on earth and he, he taught them about God and, and he would sit down and eat meals with them. We haven't had that privilege with Jesus. We look forward to that as he takes us to heaven when, when that time comes. But Jesus was comforting his disciples and letting them know that, that he would still be with them. And he would be with them in the, the presence of the Holy Spirit who he would send, the Comforter, who would be with his disciples after he was gone. The Comforter who is with us even as, as Jesus is not physically present with us. But we have the Holy Spirit to remind us of God and remind us of all that he's done for us and remind us that God is always with us. Wherever we go and whatever we do, Jesus is always with us. And you know what? I always love to close out the school year singing with you that fun song, wherever you go, whatever you do, Jesus will be with you. And we're going to sing that now. And I don't have you here to, to give me different places that you might go this summer, but I've imagined just a few and you can sing them with me now. So let's take time now and sing about how Jesus is with us wherever we go and whatever we do. Whatever you do this summer, wherever you go, Jesus will be with you. 
So let me grab my guitar. Get situated here just a little bit. And we'll sing about how Jesus is with us. Ready? Wherever you go, whatever you do. So where might be some of those places that you might go this summer that Jesus would be with you? I know in past years, one of the favorites has been Disney World, right? Disney World in Florida. Well, we're not sure if any of us will be able to travel there or not, but that's okay. We can still sing about it, right? If you go to Disney World and you see Mickey Mouse, Disney World. How about if you don't get very far from home, but you are able to visit with some of your friends? We can sing about visiting with your friends, right? So sing with me. If you visit with your friends and you have a good time, you don't even get out of your house? What if you just stay at your house? Maybe even stay in your room. We can sing about that too. You ready? Here we go. If you stay in your room and you play video games, from your house and how about if we go let's go to the island let's go to South Padre Island all right we can sing about that can't we let's sing if you go to SBI and you swim in the Gulf Jesus able to and you decide to take a long trip together we can sing about that too and you know what Jesus goes with you even then if you take a long trip and you see lots of things Maybe you have a swimming pool in your backyard. We can sing about your swimming pool, too. Let's sing. If you go to your backyard and you swim in your pool, Jesus will go with you. If you go to your backyard and you swim in your pool, How 
about one more? What if you really just don't go anywhere this summer? And you know what? That's okay. Stay at home. Stay with your family. Stay with those that you love the most. What if you don't go anywhere and you don't do anything? We can sing about that too. Let's sing. If you go, don't go anywhere and you do nothing. the great thing about Jesus. That's the great thing about our God. Wherever we go and whatever we do, he is always with us. And he made that promise to us. He made that promise in John 14. He said he would send the Holy Spirit to be with us all the time. And we thank and we praise God that he is always with us no matter what happens, no matter where we are, wherever we go, Whatever we do, Jesus is always with you. As you enjoy the summer months now, keep that in mind. Remember that Jesus is with you and he loves you. In Jesus' name, amen. Good morning, St. Paul, uh, students and families and staff and anyone who's watching this video. Uh, we are blessed to join together one last time for this year as we have our closing chapel today. And I have the great joy of leading us in prayer. And so once again, even though we're not physically together, we can't see each other right now. Uh, we can see each other through this, through the computer or through a phone. Uh, Jesus still promises that we're connected in him, connected by his spirit, connected by our faith. And so we still join together in prayer, knowing that we still pray as, as one. We still pray together, even though we might be physically distant. And so let's pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Let's pray the words of the Lord's Prayer. Let's pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And we also get the joy of celebrating birthdays. Uh, but first, as always, I would love to share just one last time for this year, one of my favorite things to do as a pastor, and that's to bless people. Uh, and so as I say these words of blessing, once again, these aren't my words. These are the very words of Jesus uh, that he's speaking through me. And so I would just like you to hear the very words of your Lord as he gives you these words of blessings as you close out this school year. So the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and to be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and grant to you his peace. Amen. And so we do get to celebrate birthdays once more. And so we'll celebrate just all the rest of May. And then um, we'll get June and July and August all together. And if we come back together for the opening of the school year next year. And so for the rest of May, uh, Ricky in eighth grade uh, has his birthday or had his birthday on the 19th. And then Burko in first grade has his birthday on the 23rd of May. And then Renata in fourth grade has her birthday on the 26th. And so happy birthday. And we pray that you get to celebrate. Uh, maybe as some of these restrictions are loosening, maybe even celebrate with friends. We'll just have to see. And so we do pray that you have a wonderful birthday. And we celebrate the gift that you are to your families and to us here at St. Paul. And we just pray that you get to celebrate that gift of life that God has given you and can still continues to give you. And so we sing to you, happy birthday and God's blessing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear friends. Happy birthday to you. 
God's blessings to you. God's blessings to you. God's blessings, dear friends. God's blessings to you. Happy birthday and God's richest blessings, not just to you three that had birthdays, but to all of you students and staff and families here at St. Paul. I wish nothing but God's blessings for you and that we just pray that you have a blessed summer, that you stay safe, but have fun. And we pray that we will see you again in the fall. But God's blessings again to each and every one of you. It has been such a joy to walk with you through this past year. And I pray that God would just continue to be with you and strengthen you uh, as we face the months ahead. God's blessings.